Jerry, Sergeant Close with the Sheriff's Department. Nice to meet you. So uh, this is your property here, right? Uh, inside. Inside? Yep. Okay. We'll walk in, take a look at the stumps, and go from there. I bought this land, it's been over 30 years now. Forestry was my passion, and I decided that any extra money I had, I would accumulate land. I have two girls, and they have three children, so between the five of them, that's my goal, was to, to turn it over to them. Here was a dandy right here. And that tree alone probably had a value at the mill of $500. And that's just one. That's one. You know, I realize people have to live, but this is not the way to do it. You know, stealing is just mad. Mr. Eaton records the value of each tree he's lost. This one's 44 inches. While Sergeant Kalilis notes the unique patterns that may help identify the stolen wood and give clues to catch the thief. It's just like a fingerprint. The ring pattern's gonna match up, so the other half is gonna look identical to that. Any more stumps? I think I got eight. That makes it a felony. The trees would have brought Mr. Eaton's family nearly $4,000. We really are the last defense on our forest being cut down illegally, not being replanted, and you know we take that seriously. They're looking at some serious jail time. But these thieves were careless and left key evidence at the crime scene. They burned it. Huh, seemed part of a phone number, isn't it? 591 is a prefix, I think. Uh, For a cell phone, yeah. Good evidence. The phone number is part of a sign advertising wood for sale. Looks like to me it was 591 and then a two or something, six. So we're only missing one number. That means I only got to make 10 phone calls. Yep. 